Hi friends, Susan Gregory here with another episode of Your Journey in Faith. Today we're going to be talking about the deep digging that is required when we want to tap into the promises of God. When we are asking God to come into our lives and provide the things that he promises in his word. As soon as you accept Jesus Christ as your savior, you are immediately translated into a new way of being, new opportunities, new privileges. You are a child of God. You are a citizen of God's kingdom. And what does his word say? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be given to you. That's because we are living in a different place. Now, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. There's so much in the scriptures about it, and I won't go into that in this lesson. But What I want you to know for sure is now because you are a child of God, you have access to every single promise that is in his word. Now, this is the thing I see and why I have called this lesson deep digging required, because there are things in your life that you want, big things. You want a new job. You want, maybe you want a spouse. Maybe you Uh, want your marriage restored, whatever it is. They are big things. They are things that God promises. You want a financial breakthrough. There's things that you want. They are promises in God's word. So I like to look at those as gems, beautiful gems that we are promised by our father. He wants to give them to us. But this is the problem, and this is a problem I had literally for decades until I started understanding how God's word works, how his kingdom systems, his way works. And that is we want these really big things. We're saying, God, I believe it. You say you'll give it to me. I believe it. But then we use our hands. We stay on the surface trying to get those things. Now, I'm not saying that we are the ones that get them or that God rewards us because we're being so good. That's not how his system works. But what he does say is that we are to diligently seek him. We are to do our part, which is to build our faith, our trust, our understanding of him and his ways, and then he will do his part. But the problem is we so often do our part on a really surface level. We don't dig deep. Meanwhile, the promises of God are deep. They are found when we enter into that deep faith relationship, that trust where we believe everything that he says. We believe that God is who he says he is and that he will do what he says he will do. That requires deep digging. But what we're doing is we're digging with a shovel when what we really need is a steam shovel. We want to go deep. And just like in the natural world, when they're digging for gems, they go deep. They go every day, more and more deep, looking in for those gems, testing, going deep, deep, deep. And then they find it. They find that gem. They find that piece, in this case, that piece of coal that inside is this gem, this this beautiful gem that eventually will get chiseled and turned into this beautiful gem that we can have in our lives. Look at what God's word says about this. And I'm using the King James, the New King James Version. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Now, that's a lot. There is so much. This could be, you know, this is a huge study all in these these few verses, these three verses. But this is what 
God is telling us in this world that by his grace and peace that we have all of these amazing benefits. Now let's look at it in the Message Bible. It might be a little easier to understand. Grace and peace to you many times over as you deepen in your experience with God and Jesus, our Master. Everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately the one who invited us to God. The best invitation we ever received. We were also given absolutely terrific promises to pass on to you. Your tickets to participation in the life of God after you turned your back on a world corrupted by lust. You see what this is saying? All of these things that are available to us, available to you right now. But what is required? What is required for us to have those promises, to be able to receive them? We need to be in relationship with God. We need to be in his word, not surface level, not giving him a few minutes, what I call you can't have a deep relationship with God in your spare time. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That is digging into those scriptures. That is understanding what God has to say. That is getting into teachings. That's using good Bible teachings and and learning about what the different promises of God are and what are we required to do. You know, there's a lot of things in the scriptures that if you do this, God says, if you do this, then I will do this. So often people are just passive and they're just waiting for God and not doing their part. Our part is to build our faith, to be, to get strong in trusting him, to get to that point where we do not doubt. But that requires us to go deep, deep with ourselves, looking what's in our heart. What are those things that need to be changed about us? What, where do we need to repent? Jesus says, repent, the kingdom of God is here. You hear those words? Repent, the kingdom of God, this new way of living is here. And the word repent means change. Change the way you've been thinking. Change what you believe because there is an entirely new kingdom available to you. And what is in that kingdom? The promises of God. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Now, if you want some help, I've got some tools that I want to give to you, some things that will help you get into God's word, will help you see the benefits that you have available. They're all available free. You just need to tell us where to send them by using the link below. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd appreciate that you kind of give us that little like symbol. That helps for more people to see this message. We want to get the word of the gospel out to people so people can see the amazing benefits and privileges they have. So be blessed as you get into God's word. And you can find out more about living a life of faith, a faith-driven life, by going to faithdrivenlife.com. This is Susan Gregory with another edition of Your Journey in Faith. Bye for now.